make sure that we are getting better 1% each day. I've been trading gold for like four years and one market, one setup, and you just keep replicating, you're gonna see yourself understanding, oh, this is a high probability trade. You need to do the same thing in trading. You can't just hop on the markets and, and do a big position straight away. As soon as I see like a good opportunity for me to enter, boom, I'm hitting my standard lot size. I'm hitting my um, 1.5. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to have another productive day. We actually woke up to some good news, I've woken up to some profit, three of my gold trades that I was selling hit profit, so we're going to have a look at that. I'm about to head on and live stream for my academy members so we can look for some more potential moves, look for some more profit and then we're going to see what else we can do. But you know what I've realized is it's a great feeling when you wake up and you're profitable but what if I woke up and I wasn't profitable? Will I still be in the same routine? Well the answer is you have to stick to your plan. You have to stick to whatever it is that you have, your goals because just because you wake up to a profit or a loss in the morning does not mean that determines your day. Remember that guys, don't let your trades determine how you feel and what goals you have to take so on that note we're going to still stick to our motivation our hustle and our goals and we're going to continue trying to make as much money as possible in the market it is a tuesday so usually tuesdays and wednesdays we can be a little bit more reserved thursdays are a bit more aggressive but tuesdays and wednesdays we could be a little bit more reserved play some lighter trades Yesterday we did hit a loss so we made that money back which is great plus some profit which is amazing so I've actually woken up on a good note so we're gonna see hopefully the day gets better yesterday got sunnier um, during the evening so maybe I might even be able to go to the park and play some basketball hopefully that is what we can do but first I need to get ready I need to freshen up have my cold shower remember it's a daily habit having that cold shower and this time I'm actually I want to get back into reading as well so I might even read today as well and throw a little bit more information to you guys and a little bit more um, knowledge to you guys so that you guys can also gain something out of these videos so I'm gonna see you guys after I get ready I can now get started and see the markets and today was a bit different because obviously we had trades running before I even woke up but it's okay but the question I want to ask you guys right is when you're looking at the market and you're not profitable you're not making wins there's a question I want to ask you were you actually ready to actually sit down and be in the market like were you did you wash yourself you know did you wake up appropriately like do you have that discipline to say okay I'm gonna take trading seriously because nine times out of ten most traders that are losing is because they just don't have a steady routine you want to have a steady routine since i've been able to implicate a steady routine and i want to document all of this as well so you're going to see this quite a repetitive thing where i wake up have that cold shower um most likely have breakfast a little bit later but i do these things because it helps me stay focused and it helps me take my trading journey seriously so if you're someone out there that isn't taking their training journey seriously but is expecting gains from the market, maybe you should not think about your strategy but maybe you should think about your actual routine external. And then we're going to see if we can make some money because at the end of the day we're just trying to make some money today. So we already made money today so I just want to make sure my academy is eating as well, not just me. So. No matter what happens, even if I lose, I try to make sure my academy members win no matter what. That's just my goal. That's just my aim. So we're going to make sure that we end the academy members with a win. It doesn't matter if it's a loss in a day. As long as the end of the week is a win or the end of the month is a win, we are good. We are grateful for it. So guys, we are now complete. I have done the live for my academy. I have made the thumbnail. All I have to do now is complete the reel. I'm gonna be honest guys, I need to take a break from my monitor. I've been on my monitor for like around two hours straight. No break, so I'm gonna eat some food. And then once I've eaten some food, I'll probably go out to the gym. Today is kind of like a slow day. I looked at the market. The market didn't really have anything interesting. 
so we're gonna leave today as it is so we ended off the day with profit anyways we had um if i have a look we have had i think it was three winning trades so three winning trades one break even and one loss so the main goal for this account is just to keep growing it i am doing withdrawal so last week i tried to do withdrawal every two weeks so two weeks ago i took out a withdrawal so hopefully by the end of this week we get to do another withdrawal so i try to take at least two every two weeks of a withdrawal um sometimes withdrawals do take two to three working days as well so that kind of covers me up for the week but overall like this is literally how trading sometimes be guys like you don't need to force a trade if, if you've been profitable let's say like for example today i had three profitable trades which can cover me for the next three four days right so the rest of the week i'm vibing like i don't actually need to be aggressive now for the next few trades i can just lower my risk lower my lot size and just vibe you know just make the minimum amount because I've made three trades, which was meant to be one trade. So I just added more positions in because it was a high prob probability trade. And it's, it's gone well. Like, it's not a thing where I was risking a little bit more. But because it was a high probability trade, I was able to risk more, right? So at the end of the day, like, if you've got, like, a trade set up and you know that it's, okay, this is, I'm pretty sure it's going to go in my direction. Add more sizes. Like, if you're not going to risk... You're not going to earn. So I know everyone, every trader is going to be like, but, you know, make sure you manage your risk. Of course, manage your risk. But if you're, let's say, risking 0.5% and the max you can risk for the week is 2% and you know that this trade can cover you for the week, go ahead and risk 2%. That's fine. But if you lose, then you know for the next few days, you need to make sure your risk is even lower than what you would normally risk, right? Because that's just how it will be. You just have to adjust, right? So it's same like if you're playing any sports and you're winning, you're not going to now go all out on the game, right? You're going to be a bit more reserved and a bit more defensive. So the whole point in trading as well is, is less offense and more defense. And what I mean by defense is more about what you do outside of the markets. What do you do to cover up them losses? So yesterday we hit a loss. Today I hit three times the loss that I made yesterday. So on that basis... I don't need to now play offense now. I can play straight defense for the rest of the week. So on that basis, it's very, very important to just understand when to play offense, when to play defense, when to risk as much. Understand that because I journal, right? I know what is a high probability trade. I know what a low probability trade is. I've been doing the same setup for the past five years, right? I have not changed anything. If you look at my old videos, I have not changed a single thing. So if you guys just focus on one setup, one market, I've been trading gold for like four years, and one market, one setup, and you just keep replicating, you're gonna see yourself understanding, oh, this is a high probability trade, or this is not a high probability trade, and you then know when to risk. If you fix yourself with the same risk management for every single trade, you're gonna realize that you, the time it takes for you to grow an account is much longer than if you just put a bit more money in or a bit more risk on a high probability trade. And that's what's important. As a trader, you need to understand when to switch, to, uh, flip the switch, right? You might see some traders out there that will have like a 30K win and then be losing around, you know, five to 10K. And the reason why they have a 30k win and be losing 10, that's let's say a 1 to 2 risk or 1 to 3 risk to a ratio, let's say for example, right? But then what about when they make, let's say, 60k? Does that mean that they have a higher risk to all ratio? Maybe not. Maybe they just put an extra lot size in there or maybe a little bit more. They use the same setup, the same 1 to 3 risk to all ratio and all they did is just put a little bit more risk, right? At the end of the day, the mark is all about percentages. If you can understand percentages and you can understand that, okay, I don't actually care about how much money I'm making. I care about the percent gains, my profit factor, and I understand that this is my risk reward ratio. So my profit factor at the moment is a one is one to three, right? That means that every single trade that I take is one to three risk reward ratio. If I go for a trade now that is one to five, that's instantly telling me that's a low probability trade because that's not a trade that I usually take, right? So if you're going to go for a high risk reward ratio, make sure that's something you do on a regular basis so that then you understand. I see people that have a 1 to 10 risk reward ratio, which is fine, right? But if you, con if you constantly do that, then that becomes your normal trading routine. So making sure that you do that, making sure that you stay 
I would say I, I would say making making sure that you stay um, consistent with the routine, then you'll understand that actually trading isn't that hard. You don't I don't have to trade every second of the day. I don't have to trade a one to five or one to six risk to reward ratio because I know that one to three is more than enough for me, right? And I know that with my um, with my trading, I think win percentage is like fifty percent, right? So that means I'm I'm bearing in mind that means that if I'm making if I make ten trades, I've lost five and won five. So the fact that I'm still profitable even after that just shows that that it's all about percentages, it's all about consistency, it's all about doing that same setup, right? So on that basis, guys, like I think today's just more about giving you guys more knowledge, giving you guys more game, because at the end of the day, like you guys are probably watching this video to soak up some sort of knowledge and I want to give you every video that I try to do I want to give you at least some sort of knowledge some sort of game so that you can then implement it into your trades just like how I do I always read I'm always trying to understand and better my value as a trader if I can't do that I'm going to make sure I better my value as a person as a human being and that's the main goal for us as as an entrepreneur you want to be the best human being you want to be the best version of yourself and if you're not the best version of yourself then that's going to reflect on your entrepreneurship and your trading or whatever side income or main income that you're doing or main hobby that you're doing i just finished eating breakfast and i think i'm addicted to this like this is one of the best breads for your bread like honestly guys i'm putting you guys on if you haven't tried this, try this. Trust me. This is how you make profits. It's by eating good food. And this is in that good food category. See, before I go to the gym, I like to like kind of just put in some stretches. So today we're doing shoulders and arms. So I just want to make sure that my shoulders are all good and ready to go. And it's pretty much the same thing in, in, in trading as well. Like, you don't want to just hop on the market and you don't want to just instantly trade. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What you want to do is you want to warm yourself up. And it's, it's practically the same thing, right? It's practically the same thing. Just making sure that your body's warm, making sure your mind is warm for trading. So I like to... Only recently, actually, I started to implement stretches. So yeah, since I've put, since I've implemented stretching, it's helped me for the next day because I try to go gym Monday to Friday, and for me, if I wanted to go gym Monday to Friday, I have to make sure that my body is not sore. So stretching actually helps that because it helps the blood circulation, and it just makes you feel good. So that's what I've started to do, and like I said. You need to do the same thing in trading. You can't just hop on the markets and, and do a big position straight away. What you want to do is you want to start off small. You want to compound yourself. And then once you see that big move, have that capital to you know push that trade and let it go. If you, let's say, do a heavy trade right at the beginning and that trade didn't go out, now you've just missed out on other opportunities throughout the day. So making sure that you just don't go all in in the morning or don't go all in in your first few trades and kind of slowly build it up. So for me, my first initial trade of the day will always be like a micro lot size or like a 0 0.05, right? And what that helps me, it helps me kind of get the grasp of what the market's moving. So even if it does go a drawdown, I'm not in huge drawdown where I'm not able to bear it. And then as soon as I see like a good opportunity for me to enter, boom, I'm hitting my standard lot size. I'm hitting my um, 1.5s, do you get what I'm saying? And then from there, I get, is, the rest is history, right? Every day, the market is giving a different movement, so you need to warm yourself up. Don't waste your life. Set your goals high. Quit thinking about what's wrong. Start thinking what's right. Love a little more, hate a little less. You have no idea what you're capable of doing. Make up your mind today, you're gonna figure it out.
and we are pretty much done for the day just had a really nice swim it's good we ended off the day with um, three profitable trades we did everything that we needed to do to become productive and we also made sure that we are getting better one percent each day so that's the goal um, like I said previously guys just make sure you take some sort of knowledge out of this even if you have to get a pen and paper and see how I live and replicate it to become a profitable trader make sure you do that other than that if you've watched it this far make sure you like and comment down below if you like this kind of vlogging style where you get to see what I do and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog